pericardiectomy in a patient with calcific constrictive pericarditis. Medical records, 66-year-old woman with a six-month history of severe heart failure, type 2 diabetes, arterial hypertension, renal insufficiency, chronic atrial fibrillation, and other comorbidities. Preoperative diagnosis, symptomatic calcific constrictive pericarditis. Operation, by median sternotomy, resection of the anterior pericardium, and complete liberation of the right atrium, right ventricle, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, pulmonary artery, ascending aorta, and part of the left ventricle. Outcome. TTE, gas ventricular function, absence of pericardial effusion and constriction operation and post of course without major complication. Pathology, an specific calcific pericarditis. Microbiology, culture negative. Discharge home in good medical condition. Sex X-ray showing the calcification in the parietal pericardium. CT scan with the same finding of calcification of the pericardium. Cardiac cut with the final diagnosis of constricting pericarditis and the arrow showing the pericardial calcification. Patient in the operating room before the operation. A median sternotomy was performed. Opening of the subcutaneous tissue of the chest with electrocautery. Splitting of the sternum in the midline with an external saw. Using the electrocautery, control of bleeding points in the sternum. Placement of the chest retractor. Removal of the fat of the anterior mediastinum and exposure of the anterior aspect of the pericardium. Using always the electrocautery. Placement of two stitches of two silk in the softer area of the anterior pericardium and pulling the pericardium up. Opening of the parietal pericardium with a 15 blade knife.
incision of the pericardium with scissor. In this moment, opening of the pericardium. Blunt and sharp dissection with scissor of the parietal pericardium from the myocardium. Incision with scissor of the thick and calcific pericardium. Evacuation of a milky like or caseous fluid from the pericardial cavity. Sharp dissection of the pericardium from the myocardium with scissor and electrocautery. Liberation of the pulmonary artery and the extending aorta. Resection of the right side of the anterior pericardium. The pericardium is thick and calcified in this point. Pericardial removed from the right side. And now, exposure of the left side of the anterior pericardium. Coagulation of bleeding points of the parietal pericardium. Close to the left pleura and left lung.
section and removal of the calcific anterior pericardium of the left side. Both phrenic nerves were preserved. removal of calcium from the pericardial edges. Epicardiectomy of the right atrium with scissor. And complete liberation of the heart. When the pericardiectomy was finished, chest drain were inserted in the anterior mediastinum. Pericardium removed. The sternum was closed with sternal wires. Closing the sternum now. The subcutaneous tissue was closed with two layers of reabsorbable suture. closer with the staples. <laughs> 